Nick Verzellini out here with former Heisman Trophy winner and NFL quarterback Robert Griffin III. Robert, uh, you worked out with Tyson today, and uh, what was your thoughts on him and his game heading into the draft? Yeah, you know, I, I just worked out with Bryce Young a few weeks ago, and, and the same things that I can say about Bryce and how he's cool, calm, collective, and poised, you can say the same things about Tyson. So watching his drop, watching how he delivers the ball, uh, actually going on and run a couple routes with him, he throws the ball extremely hard, but he also understands how to use his touch. So I came away very impressed. Getting to know him the today, getting to know his family, uh, I'm very excited for him going towards the draft. You gotta, you gotta go by mommy. Go by mommy. <laughs> um, so, and then uh, for Tyson as well, uh, you obviously have experience being in the same similar situation uh, going through the draft process. What advice were you giving to him uh, about just this whole process and, and as he approaches the draft? Yeah, just to continue to, to be himself. I, you know, I grew up in Coppers Cove, Texas, 37,000 people, right? And that's a small town. He grows up here, 18,000 people, and I feel a connection there with him because you're just a small town kid trying to go do big time things. And I think his family upbringing, his father, uh, his mom, Casey, the way that they have instilled confidence in him shows up when he's in those interviews. It shows up when he talks to me. And he just has to keep going out and living his dream. I think if he gets a chance, an opportunity to get a foot in the door, as he told me, he's going to be really hard to get kicked out of it. How do you think he compares to the other quarterbacks in the draft? Uh, being a D2 guy, yep. people may think that there's a big drop-off. Do you see any drop-off there? Yeah, I don't see any drop-off, and the reason I say that is the draft process isn't really about who's the better quarterback. It's about who can they find the most knocks on. So when I look at every single recruiting, or not recruiting, but every uh, scouting report on Tyson, it's always great, 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 great D2 product. Right. Great, 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 great. Didn't play at a D1 level. And they're just using that against him right now. Uh, but I think that once he gets into the building and a team drafts him and brings him in, he'll be able to show them that he can play with these guys. Something that he said at the Senior Bowl. I saw that quote from him and he went on and had an amazing Senior Bowl game going 17 or 22. I think he impressed a lot of people. Having three different offensive coordinators in college has provided him with a depth of knowledge to be able to learn another offense when he goes to the NFL and how to do different things uh, a different way or do things a different way and attack defenses. I think NFL teams are going to find that out when they get him. You met with the uh, Shepherd team earlier today. Yep. What was your message to them? Yeah, the message to the Shepherd team was first and foremost, they have a Heisman Trophy winner in Tyson uh, Bajant who shows them that it's possible. It doesn't matter what level of football that you play at. If you apply yourself, you dedicate yourself and improve and continue to improve like Tyson has, you can make it to the next level. First D2 quarterback ever to be invited to the Senior Bowl. You see him at the combine. He's laughing, smiling, having a great time. And I think he's an inspiration. And I talk to them about that, to go out, apply themselves, listen to their coaches, understand that every opportunity that they have on the field, they have to go out and find a way to get better. And then someday, maybe they could be the next Tyson Bajan. All right, Robert, thank you for your time, and uh, thanks. No problem. Sorry about the girls, you know. <laughs> my daughters, they, they love uh, just crashing all these uh, TV things, but uh, appreciate you guys coming out. Thank you. Much love.